still regarded him as a sort of a journeyman pro. Uh, good, very, very consistent, but he certainly played brilliantly to beat uh, Wang Yi Chin. And he's going to have the whole crowd behind him today, apart from the Chinese crowd, that is. And, uh, yeah, there are actually quite a few there. Now, just listen to the difference in volume from the crowd reaction to this one and the ladies' doubles we just had. Totally different. And if it's anything like uh, Werner Schlager's quarter-final yesterday, it will be fantastic. What a get. Oh. <laughs> Three brilliant shots there. And I thought two of them played by Kong Ling Wei. <laughs> and he still lost the point. Nothing wrong with that. It came down a little bit too close to the end of the table. And Schlager misses that one. Schlager at the moment is uh, ranked higher than Kong Ling Wei. All uh, due to his uh, better performances at the Pro Tour events in 2002. Kong Ling Hui, since uh, 2001, hasn't reached a final of the Pro Tour event. That is in singles, so um, he's been struggling a little bit uh, over the last year. The sole representative of China. Almost unthinkable that uh, the final will not have a Chinese representative in it. And if uh, Werner Schlager continues like that, they won't have. I think the last time that there wasn't a Chinese uh, player in the final was in 93, when yesterday we mentioned that uh, Jean-Philippe Gartien beat Jean-Michel Saive in the final, and uh, that was unthinkable. They certainly don't want a repeat of it. 6-2 in the opening game. Somehow they got right through the, the backhand of Werner Schlager. It's a huge crowd for one tiny little table, isn't it? I mean, you see that wide shot of the stadium. I mean, it is huge. I mean, I don't know how appropriate it is for table tennis. If you've got the, uh, the seats sort of west of where we were just looking there, I mean, they've got to be 100 yards away. Right at the top there. Well, uh, there's no doubting Werner Schlager's attitude, is it? He's going for broke right from the word go. As we said before over the last couple of days, and before when we've Enjoy watching Kong Ling Wei. He does have the all-round game. He can play whatever is necessary. It's not just attacking. He mixes up sort of a good placement. Four hands and Werner Schlager hits the edge of his bat and flies out. This really isn't a completely new territory for Schlager because he has been in the semis of a world championship before. In 99, he lost the semi-final to Liu Guo Liang. Oh! Oh, angled that away brilliantly. Ferenc Karsai. The coach of... Actually had uh, two Austrians in the quarterfinals, the other Chen Wei Xing. Just a little bit of extra pace once he managed to get it on the forehand was Lu Guo Liang's, uh, oh, sorry, Kong Ling Wei's undoing. I'm sure Kong Ling Wei must have had a long chat to Wang Li Chin yesterday. He would have also uh, seen the match, a few uh, moments of the match, trying to uh, gauge what kind of uh, speed Werner Schlager plays at.
Oh, no, just uh, caught the top of the net and went back. Hugo and uh, Kong Ling Wei has just sort of snuck through here in this game. Schlager was successful then, getting uh, Kong Ling Hui a little bit away from the table. He had also opened up the table by playing him to his extreme forehand, but uh, couldn't follow it up with the down-the-line shot. That'll do it. Move, moves Werner Schlager to uh, game point. Now just tries to compose himself. Generally, he plays very quickly between points. But just trying to slow it down. I think he knows that uh, Kong Ling Wei likes to play quickly as well. So I'll make him think about this serve. Uh, he was just trying to get himself into position to hit the big uh, forehand. That's another serve for Kong Ling Wei. He's done it. First game to Werner Schlager. Great atmosphere here. Early trouble for Kong Ling Wei.